Okay, so as I was saying, my time step I left at 1, and just because I ran it twice, and the first time I chose 600, second time I chose 1000 st time steps, um, just because my system took so long to reach what results were similar to our steady state analysis. Okay, um, really this should be a smaller number, but uh, I'm also battling with, you know, uh, memory usage and all that. So, choose the correct time step depending on what you're looking for and, um, you know, maybe if you're trying to replicate the steady state uh, conditions, try to um, find out when those would be and what you do is obviously multiply this number by this number and you get the total time. Uh, and down here this is also important uh, maximum iterations per time step. When you start um, your first couple iterations or your first couple time, time steps might require more iterations than your future time steps. Um, for my situation, I, I know that this particular problem uh, converges pretty quickly, so I'm going to choose, um, I can choose like 50. You might have to choose more, actually you probably will have to choose more because this is such a simple problem. You might need like 250 or something like that. And now you are ready to calculate We've done everything, we've done, uh, we've exported, we've initialized, um, let's make sure we initialize actually, yeah, we initialized, uh, and we chose our time step, number of steps, iterations, and you can calculate now. I'm not going to calculate because I already calculated all of this. Um, so let's suppose I calculated and I've got my results. Now, what I want to do with my results, and let me show you once you calculate it, um, this is the folder where I put all my all of my calculations. You're gonna get for, you will get for each time step a file like this. And I chose a thousand st time steps, so I have a thousand little folders here. Um, and so now what I want to do is create an animation. So I'm going to go over here to component systems, I'm going to scroll down, drag and drop results over to here, right click, edit, and it's going to take a couple seconds. I just want to say really quickly while this is showing up, I kind of made a decision to make videos on ANSYS and other programs as I learn the program. So, for instance, I already decided that I'm going to do next a combustion analysis or a combustion tutorial. I've run combustion t uh, simulations before and um, I think they're pretty interesting and they're definitely they're complex and I would like to show people how to do that. Um, so I guess keep in touch because uh, I've noticed that you know, putting up these videos is helping me um, be motivated to learn more about these programs. Um, so anyways, we've opened up the results window and what I'm going to do is load the results. So you know, f f file, load results. Okay, now for this situation I want to load the first one the dot CAS, okay, and then make sure over here on the right 